Alright, what's up guys? As goes always, welcome back to the Wife of Bell, which is truly the Scarender. And today we're having the Espion Week with Pharaoh. Because you guys wanted Pharaoh, I'll get you guys Pharaoh. I really want to use Pharaoh myself. And the team I'm using is definitely not made for OU, so hopefully my opponent Grim is not too grim on me. He is Ubers. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> so, yeah. Look. I could probably like pressure some of these mods, and I really like that. I, I think I'm going to get great use out of um, Dynamos uh, to lock down the Scar Skarmory, but the Lisker is definitely not nice. Um, I'm going to start with Kite Crow. I think, I think that's obvious enough. Rena is kind of good too, good speed here. Um, and versus Blaziken, I mean, I, I, I think I straight lose to Blaziken. If I can pres preserve my sturdy, that would be kind of nice with um, John Fam, but that's about it. So with that said, Grim, good luck, have fun. Start with Skarmory, that's incredible. Nice. So, I actually do get like a good leeway for this, because I can U-turn on this with a little to no issue, lock it in, and uh, catch it. Unless there's Shed Shell, I should be able to just straight up win this matchup. I don't expect them to have it. Let's see. Dynamos. Let's go. Let's see. Goes with self rocks. That's fair. I want to see leftovers. Yes, he is dead. <laughs> Alright. Awesome. So we make short work out of this guy. He's going to have a really mean experience here, I'm sure. Let's see. One Thunderbolt is plenty for this guy and uh, goes with spikes right fair enough and I mean I could go into Dawn Fountain but what's the point right easy players to um... oh yeah now you realize he's locked in oh no I still lose to Blaze again though like this is, I don't believe if there's any scenario here I can win this matchup, but still, just getting this right is plenty for me. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Don't tell me you realize now that I'm locking you in. So, right, Skarmory is out, which it's not necessarily like it's not a big issue for my team, but at the same time, it's good to have it out of the way. So, he should be bringing Elisco or Blaziken for all I care. Question is... Does it go directly for a Protect? Since I am Scarf, this guy is nice for me, it's good damage. Oh! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, get noob to it, buddy! There we go, Electavar. That's a switch in. <laughs> okay. Oh uh, yeah, I, you know I'm down with this. Um, now, earthquake or I guess ice punch. If you want to really be really gutsy, it should work just fine for him. Um, I really hope for earthquake. You should be able to soak that right. Yeah, I should be able to. Um, Rapid Spring from that. Let's see. Goes with Flamethrower. Good neutral play. And it will do... Yeah, that's not impressive at all. I take it it is probably negative nature because I am not that invested in special defense. I am bulky, but I'm nowhere near that bulky. Right? Go for safe play. Goes for an Ice Punch. That should do significantly more. Yeah, looks about right. But since... He is uh, an Electavar. I could potentially go for an Earthquake and outspeed here. Question is whether or not I want to risk it. Tusk still has merits. I just like the idea of being able to possibly outspeed here. It is probably unlikely. Ah, I went for an Earthquake, that's fair. So Gliscor is gonna be rougher. 
while that's true, it's not that bad. Because I have a float seal, which definitely makes short work out of this guy. Yeah, let's do that. Rubicon tear. Let's go. I, for life of me, can't remember a team, but I do remember that he had a Tangrove. Is whether or not I want to sack it, or not versus this, I, I'll happily take it out. But versus Tangrove, my easiest play is absolutely going into my Connemine. And uh, yeah, I mean, Pharaoh did kind of its thing, I guess. Stami, oh yeah, that's a thing. We do share our speech here, don't we? Though I don't need to take a big risk here. So Espeon is definitely very safe and uh, Thunderbolt would be annoying, but that's about it. There we go. We take this. Not well. That has to be analytic boosted though. Yeah, it, it's gotta be. There is no way it would have done that much <laughs> with that. My, you see, Surf, it might as well kill me. Yeah. Damn it, I hate analytics. But. It's not the end of the world. We have Dynamos, and we have Kaiko. Which, um. I, I hope U turn takes it out. I mean, if not, I'm just sending in Dynamos, I guess. But. Oh, he stayed in. Okay, cool. And he took it. That's actually not great. <laughs> Damn it, Pharaoh. Don't want to send in Sir Munch just yet. So. Go with Dynamos. And, um... I'm just gonna lock myself in the flash cannon, I think. Oh! Great! Please don't freeze! <laughs> I hate these scenarios, like, uh, what if? Are you ready to sack this? Oh, he was. Oh, he was. Flash cannon's gonna ruin him. <laughs> so, alright, let's see. Glisco and Tangrof left. Do I miss anyone? There's a glitch school. We should be able to outspeed and consider the remaining mods. I'm. I can't do a whole lot anyway, so I'd rather just get as much damage in there as possible. And then my Carnivine. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's doing a lot, isn't it? <laughs> because I'm pretty sure Carnivine just kinda kind of eats on this guy right now. I'm having a hard time thinking Glisco can do anything to Carnivine. With Power Whip and whatnot. We'll become to the same scenario, really. Ice Fang should do... Fair enough, I think. Yeah, we're gonna go do that. Let's see what he decides to do. Because even if it brings Tangrove, which by the way, it is a very safe switch in, I think I should do some damage on it too. Probably not ruining it, but definitely hurting it. Let's see, Ice Fang will do. Oh wow, that's not a lot. <laughs> okay, that was kind of underwhelming. Um, <laughs> I was kind of expecting more. Right? I think Carnivine still is good, but um, I think I kind of need to overdo this. Sleep Father? Ah, that's not great. Or it depends. I'm not sending Sir Munch. <laughs> Ah, that sucks. Come on, Sir Munch. Let's see if we can do something with this. There's a knockoff. Damn it. So we had it. Didn't do a lot, though. So, Sludge Bomb here. Let's see, it does have speed around retaliating Sludge Bomb, which is awful. Ah, 
Ah, oh, damn it. Don't tell me I lose here. I can't stop the Tangerov. Damn it. Damn it. Should have saved Espeon. Or, actually, it's fine. It is definitely fine. Um, thinking about it, what could have done differently, you know? I think I did quite right, anyway. Um, consider what type of team I'm bringing, so... <laughs> Let's see, Holy Cons right one. Oh, knockoff. That's fair. Shy Scarf isn't doing anything for me anyway at this at this point I think I would speed everything anyway. So I need some really nasty momentum to get this to work. I think Sludge Pump takes me out, to be honest. And it would have been really great if I woke up just to get some real good chip. Sludge Pump will do not a killing hit. Alright, wake up and go for the game pack, right? There we go. Come on, Pharaoh, right? Get the crit scope lens! That's what I need right now! Oh, wow, buddy. Wow, buddy, that's not gonna be... no... Damn it! <laughs> okay, so looking back at this game, probably never should have sacked... Ah, I don't know. I don't know. I have a, right now I have a 10% chance of winning. If I get to freeze, I should be in a golden spot. Or flinch. I have two of those options, right? Either flinch or freeze. So no freeze. And no flinch. There we go. GG Grim. Um, yeah, I'm actually really okay with this. Um, <laughs> I think I did way better than I should. So, very much watching as always. Thank you just so. Hope you enjoyed this game, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care, one. All right.